Cumulative frequency of the class before the quartile class, which gives us five. Okay. So actually, in their calculation here, okay, let me just maybe fold this over. Okay, we have all of our values. We have sigma f over four. We have L of Q1, the lower bound of the quartile class. We have the width of the quartile class. We have the actual frequency of the quartile class. And we have the cumulative frequency of the class before the quartile class. So in our situation here, if I just fold this over, okay, we end up with, and maybe if I just take my values again, okay, we end up with that Q1, our first quartile, our Q1 is equal to the lower bound, which is 35, okay, plus sigma f over 4, and don't forget this is a fractional amount, okay, so sigma f over 4 is 12.5, okay, minus capital F of q1 minus 1, which is the cumulative frequency of the class before the quartile class, is 5, and that's all relative to small f of q1, which is, which is 10, okay, and that needs to be multiplied by the class width, which is, which is 15. Okay. So actually what we're really saying is this, is that Q1, the first quartile, is equal to 35 plus 12.5 okay, well minus 5, or well 12.5 minus 5 gives us a value of 7.5. So it's 7.5 over 10 times the width of the class. Now let's just reflect on this, and I've done this in our first quartile class video, I have a video before it, is that, oh look, with respect to the first quartile class, there's 10 observations in it. Now, we know that 12.5 of the observations need to be less than the 50, need to be less than the upper bound, but there's 5 in the one in the class previous, so there must be 7.5 observations in this class, okay? which is the difference between the two, the two frequencies, okay? 7.5. So actually, 7.5 of the 10 observations would demarcate the first quartile. Now, the width of this is 15, so what we're saying is, let's move along 7.5 tenths of the 15, and that's where we're going to demarcate the first quartile to be. So in this situation here, we get Q1. Q1 is equal to 45, okay? Plus, let's just work this fraction out. So it's 7.5 divided by 10, and I think we know what that is. That's going to be equal to 0 0.75, and multiplied by the 15 is going to give us a value of 11.25. Okay, so actually Q1, the first quartile, is at position 46.25, okay, and this is an important value for us because we're going to use this when it comes to the calculation of the outliers, okay. So what about the second quartile? Because I did say in it just earlier is that to calculate the, 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 sorry, the third quartile, to calculate the upper bound outliers, we need the third quartile, okay. So what about the third quartile? So let's just write this down. So we're, we're talking about this, the third the third quartile is what we require. So we have a formula for that, and once again, there is a video for this, okay? So the third, the third quartile, okay? To calculate the third quartile, well, we need to find the quartile class. So let's just call it Q3. Q3, it's gonna be equal to whatever the lower bound of that class is, let's call that L of subscript Q3, plus some fractional amount times the class width. Okay, times C of Q3. Okay, now how far along is that particular third quartile going to be? Well, it's going to be three quarters of the totality. In other words, it's going to be three quarters of sigma f, okay, oh, of sigma small f, okay, over four. That's three quarters of the total frequency minus capital F of Q3 minus one divided by small f of Q3. So actually what we require is we require all of these values, okay? Now like what we did previously, the key to calculate the third quartile, the key is this particular value here, okay? So what we need to do is we need to calculate what is 3 sigma f over 4, okay? So let's do that. So we have 3 times sigma f over 4 is the same as 3 times sigma f is 50, which needs to be divided by 4, okay? Which gives us, well, that gives us 150 divided by 4. So 150 divided by 4 gives us a value of 37.5, okay? So what we're saying is this, is that the third quartile should be between the 37th and 38th observation, okay? More importantly, between the 37th and 38th, okay? The 37th and 38th are ordered observation, okay? That's important. So let's... Walk down the cumulative frequency until we find the first one that exceeds 37.5. And you can see that the first cumulative frequency that exceeds it is 45 here. So the third quartile class must be this class here. 
Okay? The third quartile must be somewhere in that class. Okay? Because it's between the 37th and the 38th observation. Okay? Now there's 30 observations before 65, which leaves 15 observations in this interval. Okay? So it needs to be somewhere within this particular interval. So once again, like what we did previously, let's calculate these particular values. Okay, so we're going to calculate L of Q3. Okay, the lower bound of the quartile class. Well, what's that? The lower bound of Q3 is 65. Okay, then we're going to calculate what the width is. So C of Q3. Okay, the quartile, the width of the quartile class, which is also equal to 15. Okay, we're going to calculate what small f of Q3 is, the actual frequency of the quartile class, of the third quartile class, well the actual frequency is 15, okay? And we're going to calculate capital F of Q3 minus 1. Now just remember this is the cumulative frequency of the third quartile class. Actually, it's the cumulative frequency of the class before the third quartile class. Now, the cumulative frequency of the, quart the third quartile class is 45, the one before it is equal to 30. So that gives us our value of 30 here, okay? So now we're nearly there. So now what we have is that Q3, Q3 must be equal to L of Q3, which is 65, plus 3 times sigma F over 4, which is 37.5, minus, okay, minus the cumulative frequency of the one before it, which is 30, so minus 30, all relative to a uh, small f of Q3, which is 15, and that needs to be multiplied by the class width, which is also 15. Now let's just do the fractional amount here, okay, so we have 37.5 minus 30.